Brad, thank you. Well, this month marks one year since two local teens discovered what became one of the largest gas leaks in recent U.S. history. Colonial Pipeline still cleaning up that area in Huntersville, where a section of pipeline leaked more than a million gallons of fuel. The incident receiving national attention, but a WCNC Charlotte Defenders investigation finds that at the same time Colonial Pipeline was cleaning up its Huntersville spill, it was quietly analyzing the impacts of another spill, this one in Northwest Charlotte. WCNC Charlotte's Brandon Goldner breaks it down. Leroy Patterson's backyard overlooks a farm, not the kind with crops and cows. The only white and black he sees, these cylinders holding thousands of gallons of jet fuel, making up Colonial Pipeline's Northwest Charlotte tank farm. Around New Year's Eve 2018, Patterson was coming home from work. And I smell this gas, so I look around, I didn't see anything. Then in the following day, you know, I saw a number of people over there you know, I saw the fire truck and then I later learned that it was some spill. What Patterson didn't know, a Colonial Pipeline technician smelled that same fuel and began investigating. It took crews three days to find the source. Jet fuel leaking from a pinhole in a section of 1963 era pipe feeding this tank 320 feet away from Patterson's house. For months, he watched as excavators dug up more than eight thousand tons of contaminated soil at any point did they tell you how much was spilled here what the no, cause of it no 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 nothing nothing of that sort. so we found out what they discovered there they said it was 13,000 gallons wow except that 13,000 gallons is only what workers were able to recover in this accident report, Colonial Pipeline says the pipe leaked an additional 3,200 gallons of jet fuel that was never recovered. A company spokesman says crews responded immediately, but because of the location and safety concerns, they had to dig by hand. He says the spill was contained to their property and never posed a risk to neighbors. But according to the company's own reports, visible sheens were spotted in a tributary leading to the Gum Branch, a water source for Belmont and Mount Holly. The company says only about 10 gallons of fuel leaked into the tributary and the facility pond. A spokesman says workers immediately created dams to contain the fuel, and subsequent tests showed the chemicals were at levels too low to be detected in the lab, although testing didn't start until the day after the leak was found. In January 2020, after more than a year of cleanup, Colonial Pipeline's own compliance coordinator blames the leak on corrosion inside the pipe and cited inadequate inspection and planning as contributing factors. Eight months later, one of the largest spills in U.S. history, more than a million gallons of petroleum spilling out near Huntersville after a section of the pipeline itself cracked. According to the Federal Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, or PIMSA, the company had no clue about the spill until two teenagers discovered it. Colonial Pipeline argues comparing what happened in Huntersville to Northwest Charlotte is like comparing apples to oranges because they involve different equipment and procedures, except there is a key similarity. After the tank farm spill, the company's own compliance coordinator said they would, quote, consider installing internal monitoring systems tools in areas known for higher risk of internal corrosion. In PIMSA's proposed safety order after the Huntersville spill, the agency slammed Colonial Pipeline's quote, inability to effectively detect and respond to this release, as well as other past releases, and warned if corrections weren't made to their leak detection system, it quote, would pose a pipeline integrity risk to public safety, property, or the environment. Back home on that 320-foot range between the tank farm and his porch, Patterson says he's been closely following the Huntersville spill. It's frightening when I heard the amount that has been spilt and stuff like that. Knowing that I'm living so close, it was real frightening. Living so close to the path of the pipeline itself, but unaware just how close he was to another spill. In Northwest Charlotte, Brandon Goldner, WCNC Charlotte.